she gets another one. And somehow she gets it back in my hand. And gets me to throw it again and again after I said, no more, no more, no more. She says, I know you turned that camera on me. I'm going to act like I have something to chase over here. So nice sitting beside a creek. Still my favorite thing in the world to do. Just sit and hear the water run down the mountains. Might go for a dip tomorrow. We'll see. It'll feel good. I could use a little mountain spring dip. It is now the 21st Saturday of August. And you are staring up my nose. I've only got about three weeks left until Albuquerque. I can't wait. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. I bet you can't wait either, so I stopped talking about it. That's what I'm supposed to say, right? How many times a day do you say things just because that's what you're supposed to say and that's what you've heard other people say? That's something to think about. I should think about that more, especially when I'm filming. It's all borrowed, bought or stolen, and has always been here. Bye 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 bye. What was I going to show you? I forget. I got so, so, so lost up in the woods that I can't even find my way around my own van. I was going to put on. Yeah, I'm not thinking. Drink another sip of the beer and then get back to work. Wow. What's an old stoner do when a cop rolls up? Sets a beer on his ice chest just to make the guy comfortable. Nope, not a good joke still. What's an old alcoholic do when a cop rolls up? Offers the guy a joint. Kinda on the search for uh, mushrooms right now. This old guy walks through my campsite. Something blah blah blah. And then I said blah blah blah. I really don't remember quite exactly. That's kind of what it sounded like. It's a mushroom something something. And I said, I don't know enough about them something something. I'm looking for this guy. Are they edible? Yeah, they're edible. Oh, what do they look like? Well, they, well, no, those aren't them. Uh, oh, here's some. Walks over to my campfire with the marshmallow in his hand to show me. He goes, you're not seeing nothing now. All you got to do. Slices it open halfway down the middle with a knife. Look for gills and then you'll know it's poisonous. There were no gills. So I said, oh, okay, and I put my hand out just like this. They're not poisonous, they're edible. I want one. So he puts them both in my hands, the two halves. I got my campfire going, put them right on the grill. Yeah. So then I went and hunted one down all by myself. Cut it up, put it right on the grill. Wow. So now I'm on a hunt for mushrooms. No hallucinations, just good tasting mushrooms. I think this could all be a hallucination for all I know. Probably not though, it looks pretty real. Almost as fun as a parrot.
I'll leave it against the front step. I caught myself staring at people today. I think I just, I'm so used, I'm so out there by myself sometimes that uh, people around me kind of seem to be, I don't want to say another dimension, but like watching something on TV, kind of entertaining. Annoying at times, but mostly entertaining. So I was just sitting there staring at them as they fished and talked, and they were only 30 yards away from me. It must have been weird for them to have someone just sitting there staring at them. And then somebody else came by later today and tried fishing, didn't have any luck, and then got in the car and said they were going off to see a moose. And I thought, wow, wouldn't that be nice if that's how it really worked, you just get in your car and go off and see a moose. I wanted to tell the guy, I've been driving around this country for a year, most of the time in national forests, and I've had three moose sightings. They're out on family vacation from California for the weekend. Why not drive up in the hills and see a moose? Sounds like a good plan to me. Alright. I videotape myself for the day. Bye bye.